Hello everyone, Lucas Eddy here with Climb. Today we're looking at the newly redesigned Vanguard Gore-Tex Long and Vanguard Gore-Tex Short Gloves. These are street touring gloves, Gore-Tex, good for weather protection, and there are a few key differences between these two, so we'll try to walk through them here. The big story here is they were really popular, really solid gloves before. Now we're just refining them and improving them to make them a little bit more comfortable and better and easier to use than they were before. So we're not totally redesigning the wheel here. So we'll start with the Gore-Tex Long here. There's a little bit more going on. We have this leather-backed knuckle protector here. It's a rigid kind of rubberized knuckle protector. And then we have this nice foam here on the back of the finger knuckles that goes for all these gloves. Then on the palm here, we'll flip these over. We have some, we have a uh, impact absorbing foam and leather heel pad here on both of the gloves. This is if you're falling down and you're gonna catch yourself like this. And then some backing here, some foam backing on the thumb as well on both gloves. Now, the big thing I need to mention with the Vanguard Gore-Tex Long Glove here is this has backhand insulation in it. It's got a little bit of 3M synthetic backhand insulation. And the idea here is for like really foul weather when it's cold and raining and nasty outside, you can wear these gloves. And then if it's just normal temperature, but you want a Gore-Tex glove, you can wear these gloves. And the difference here is with the Long Glove, there is no palm insulation, so you can still grip the bars really well. As you can see, there's no extra seams here in the whole finger area. And even if I'm just holding this glove like this, you can see how articulated these fingers are. So it's really set up to be comfortable on the bars. It doesn't take any effort to hold on. You're good to go for long days on the bike. And then further on the Vanguard Long here, you can see this neoprene cuff. And this is actually designed to go underneath the cuff of your jacket. And the idea here is we designed this for touring and sport touring and that kind of stuff. So when you're on the bike and your hands are either flat or down, when you have a Gore-Tex jacket on top of it, that rain isn't gonna run into the gauntlet, it's gonna run on top of the gauntlet and go past the glove and not fill up your hands with water, basically. And when we talk about that, we also have this gray taffeta lining in here. And this kind of is a more slippery material. So if you take your hands off and everything's soaked in rain and your hands are wet, they're not gonna kind of get caught on that liner as you try to put your hands in and out of the glove. That gets really annoying, that gets really old. So we try to make that uh, a nice, easy to use feature when your hands are wet. Then in terms of comfort and adjustment features, these both gloves are really quite similar. We've got this Velcro cuff here, a little bit of elastic backing there. Same thing on this side with the short glove. Again, non-insulated, better for more, a larger temperature range from like kind of chilly to pretty warm days. These are more for truly cold days because they're insulated. So anyways, back here on the short glove, we've got this wrist cuff adjuster. And then of course, like the induction glove, for example, we have the uh, wrist zipper here, make it easy to put on, set your circumference here, then just use the zipper to get in and out of the glove. And then the last thing I have to mention on these gloves is the new multi-touch function here for your phone screen, for your GPS, that kind of stuff. We've got this little uh, conductive stitching here on the finger to make it more precise. That goes for all these gloves. You'll see it in a bunch of other gloves in the lineup as well. And of course, same thing here with the articulation. You can see how articulated this glove is. It's already ready to be on those bars with really minimal seams there in the palm area. So super solid touring gloves, street riding gloves. You can wear them on the adventure bike, but that's not what we designed them for. We've got adventure specific gloves that are a little bit more like burly for that kind of riding where you're in the dirt and that kind of stuff. So these are great for the street bike. These are the non-insulated Vanguard Gore-Tex short gloves. These are the partially insulated Vanguard Gore-Tex long gloves. Check these out online. If you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and find us on social media. It's all Climb Motorcycle on there. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.